Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. This place will devour all the lights in the sky. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.
in the basements below, hound kills hound, and the money changes hands. Such laughter, and they are singing the old songs, linking arms. Do not attempt to destroy Victoria River Crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. Deals are made here, sometimes under the influence of wine, and sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. Men or hound, they all go in. They top off the line with river water, but eventually someone swoons. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands, and of your heart. They stood in a circle around the candles and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames.
Elementary songs. History of the Isles. Geography of the Isles. The Seven Strictures. Litany of the White Cliff. Sayings of the Overseer. One day we'll get a few new books. The, the conspirators, conspirators have found a safe home here. They, they take great, great care that they are not followed. The ale here is sweetened with honey to hide the taste of the river brine. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, but well, that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hovel he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Attention, Dunwall Citizen. Do not attempt to... The oh. other servants don't, don't like, like her. her. The sober speaking whispers. The drunk bell. Fortunes have been won here, and the lives have been lost. She Jay hides her hands. hands. They, they are raw and scarred from the washing. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes, and I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. She's a smart one. I hope the attic's to your liking. I've slept there myself on summer nights. I went and knocked on the front door a few nights ago for a joke. No one thought it was funny. My sister lost a tooth last month, fighting off some officer from the city watch. The sooner the Lord Regent is gone, the better I say. Just you wait. I'll own this place one day. I've dreamed it. With the common woman, she, she fears, fears the, the abbey, abbey and the plague. plague. She is a seamstress in a shop frequented by the wealthy. There is nothing in common about the work she does every day. All she wants is to lay herself down in the middle of a the street and await death. The fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. She starves so that her children can have bread. But the common folk, simple-minded, selfish, but they can be kind. She has only one dress and wears it to tatters.
Attention Dunwall citizens. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. The old man painted a dark corner and drank himself into oblivion. The hounds were the first to find him. I could feel a great age ending. Somewhere in the basements below, hound kills hound, and money changes hands. Such laughter, and then they're singing the old songs, linking arms. But that was from a happy time. He spies on his neighbors, and reports to the overseers. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. He always eats very well, even as his wife and child grow thin. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 27. In my thirteenth year, the despised stepmother at last departed, and Pendleton Hall was again quiet, although father had by then sunk into deep depression. It was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life, she who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. Lord Pendleton's great-grandfather took a Sokonan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, the story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. There's a little Tivian blood in the Pendleton line. That's the worst anyone could say about them. I think it's come out in the brothers just a little bit. My Lord Trevor's pure as the Empress herself, I'm happy to say. The Pendletons are quite wealthy, but they were noble long before that. You've heard rumors about the Pendleton mines being worked by slaves, I suppose. Never been there myself, and I refuse to believe it. They say Custis Pendleton made an improper remark to the Empress once, and you ejected him from a state dinner before asking who he was. Well done, I say. This plague has ruined the social season for all of us. It is in the common man that the Abbey finds its most faithful. He steals from his business partner a little every day. Deals are made here, sometimes under the influence of wine, and sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. Some men can still find work along the waterfront. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandician cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. You know, I tried to attend services with the overseers for a while. They've just gotten more and more 
I don't know, rabid about the seven strictures and witchcraft and all that nonsense. I think the Admiral's awfully distinguished, don't you? Everyone I know cried the day we heard the news about the Empress. Poor woman. And her little daughter lost. From what I understand, it just killed the Admiral to be cast out from the Navy. That was his life before the Lord Regent came along. Someone came and banged on the door a few nights ago. I thought Lord Pendleton would piss himself. Oh, begging your pardon. To think what I spend smuggling in wine for his lordship. That Wallace can cook, yes. But the way he talks to us, you'd think he was a lord himself. I'd work for you for a year for free if you managed to get that Lord Regent off the throne. None of the shops are open, all the business has dried up, and most people can't even walk the streets. That man's a blight on the city. Work, Work is, is never, never done, done for the lowly servant. servant. Her, her servant wages, wages will, will not be enough, enough to fix her father's death. deaths. For all the hard work, there is little reward for her. If she lives until tomorrow, her day off, she will be mauled by leapers and left for dead. Do not pity the servant. There is pride in a job well done. There is not a day that goes by she does not consider taking her own life. The household is treated poorly, but there are worse ways to earn a coin. The pain in her back is constant. Nothing helps. Work is never done for the lowly servant.
part of the soul live in the heart? Does part of the soul live in the heart? If the heart keeps beating, does that mean that the spirit is never released into oblivion? I can keep a heart beating forever with electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if I created these processes in waking hours. I am uneasy pursuing avenues that emanate from my dreaming mind. Havelock stopped in earlier, but I forgot what he wanted. He's waiting to see you, I believe. What can I do for you? He is Pierre Joplin. Even now, he visualizes in the next dimension. Astonishing. I wish you could see it too. Poor Piero. His elixirs have cured so much for so many, but they cannot cure his many fears. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So the law will never forgive him that. He has spied upon Callista as she bathes, more than once. Each and every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Pierre's dreams. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Old Fort District has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal.